Hello friends! In this video I am going to be reviewing the Artist Loft Watercolor Dual Brush Marker. I hope I got that name right. This is a brush pen that a lot of people call a dupe for the Tombow Dual Brush Pen and they are very very similar. They both have two ends, the brush tip and the bullet tip and I will show you comparison between the two here. As you can see they are very similar. I do also agree that they feel pretty similar when they write. Now I personally don't think they feel identical. However, as somebody who gets asked about pens a lot, and as somebody who reviews pens a lot, and as somebody who does a lot of hand lettering, I might pay a little bit more attention to the tiny little details than some people, so I can totally see how people would call these a dupe. Now, I held off for getting these for quite a while for one main reason, and that's because they just really weren't that inexpensive. I felt like if I was going to buy something that was like a dupe for a Tombow marker, that it should be really cheap. And whenever I would see these at Michael's, they just really weren't that cheap. They were pretty expensive. I'm not sure if they were quite as expensive as the Tombow dual brush pen, but they weren't like just a few dollars either. So I always tended to go with the one that I knew and the one that I knew that I liked, but I eventually ordered these on Amazon. And I was pleasantly surprised that I really like them. I wanted to show you the difference between pushing really hard and just kind of pushing lightly. I explained this in my Tombow review, but some people ask how I get that ombre effect where the top of the letters are darker than the bottom. And a lot of it has to do, I think, with a nice paper, but also I think that it has something to do with pushing really hard. As you can see on the right hand side, you can get thick downstrokes and thin upstrokes without pushing quite as hard as I did on the left. But typically when I notice that color difference from darker to lighter, it's when I've written more like on the left where I have really thick downstroke. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch these colors. I did not buy the biggest pack on Amazon because again, they're not the cheapest markers and I wasn't sure if I would like them. But the colors are really nice and vibrant. And with how much ink that comes out, I definitely understand the name watercolor and the title of these pens because they just feel pretty juicy to me. If I had to say that there was a difference, one thing that I feel like is a little bit different between this pen and the Tombow is this one just feels a little bit softer to me. And I don't really know how else to explain that except for that it feels, instead of bouncy, it just feels a little bit softer. So I don't know if that makes any sense to you. One just maybe feels like there's a little bit more bounce to it, but again, it's so minor. And if I wasn't like completely trying to look for differences, I probably wouldn't notice. And also it could totally just be me. So again, let me know. But obviously it's not a major difference at all, if any. So these as a watercolor marker are not water resistant. I did want to show them to you on some watercolor paper, but I did not want to fray the brush pens. So I am just going to show you a way to do this without ruining your brush pens. And that is just by drawing with your brush pen onto acrylic or plastic or ceramic, and then just picking it up with either your water brush or your wet paint brush. And that way you can let her write onto your watercolor paper without ruining the brush tip. This is also a great way to use up brush pens that are already frayed and you aren't really having good luck writing with, but they still have some ink inside of them. And the colors would probably be a little bit more vibrant if you were to write directly onto the watercolor paper, but I think that this is a really nice way to do it as well. These markers are blendable and I think that it's a little bit more subtle of a blend, but with these markers you could definitely try a few different color combinations and see if you could get a little bit more contrast if that's what you're looking for. If you are curious how the Tombow Dual Brush Pen writes, I will leave a link in the description box below for my Tombow review. And if you are wanting to learn how to hand letter, I have a free mini course that you can join. You can simply go to howtohandletter.com slash mini course, or I will leave a link in the description box below for that as well. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next one.